There is so much insecurity in our country, Kenya. Not only now in the sides of Trukana, this time it is all over the country. There is so much magin that is going on in our republic. But I thank God and I thank Kenya Kwanza government now that we have a new Inspector General, Kome. Uh, last week he told us in Parliament that he is going to do what is supposed to be done to make sure that this thing will come to an end. I know the thugs are using border borders, they are, they are finding or they are waiting for anybody walking, walking back home and they are attacking them and they are coming many. And you know border border can go through very small narrow roads. So we are trying to tell our policemen, we know if you want you can do it. And that's why I want to congratulate the policemen from Thika. When you do good, we say you have done good. The other day you are able to arrest those ones who are mugging the people of Thika and you brought them to book. Even right now, moving forward, I am asking all the policemen, wherever you are, it is according you are given by God. Please, provide security for our people, especially now that we are headed to festive seasons. People are not safe. It is us, it is you people to give us confidence that all is going to be well. And that to the citizen of Kenya, please, please, if you know somebody, somewhere, or your neighbor, or somebody from the other village, you know these boys. Even if you not be able to say their names because you're going to be victimized, write a private paper, drop it at the chief's office or the police headquarters offices. Please tell us whoever they are so that we can go for them. Yeah, we agree in the recent past we have had issues with uh, insecurity. But now we are hoping in coming days things will get better now that we have a new IG in office. Uh, number two, uh, this, uh, this many cases, mostly there is use of Boda Boda in it. So I'll suggest mo uh, those genuine Boda Boda users should align themselves into circles so that we are able to identify the genuine Boda Boda users. Uh, I'd also, I would also like our police officers to be empowered to have Boda borders so that it's it's efficient for them. I'm a Linda in Gatondo North, was contesting uh, for the Gatondo parliamentary seat in the last election. I'm still a leader, that's why I'm here. And I would like to comment about the issue of insecurity in the country. In the recent past, like uh, one month ago, there has been rampant cases of insecurity both in towns and uh, in the villages. Uh, like in Gatundo North, we have had uh, thefts in relation to livestock, in relation to household property. In towns, there are a lot of muggings and uh, robbery with violence in the streets, especially in the evening and even in some streets during the day. But because we have a new Inspector General of Police, we would like to assure him of our community support from leaders and uh, from the community and from the Kenyan society so that he is able to stand and implement uh, all measures, all measures to mitigate against rampant insecurity. Uh, I know that uh, criminals have interpreted when they have that uh, some police officers who are being arrested and so on, they misinterpreted uh, this to mean that there is a vacuum in the relation to the structured uh, security policy. But we are going to assure the Inspector General that he has our support. Let him deal with the criminals and de deal with them decisively because that is the only way that people are going to work uh, in peace, in harmony, and uh, people go about their business without worrying about their security.
Uh, in relation to the sin, there is the issue of uh, alcohol and drug abuse, uh, especially here in Gatundu. No, there is a village called Makwa. It's even known in the office of the president as one of the villages where there is uh, uh, increased alcohol and illicit, illicit brews. And uh, one of the reasons as to why the youth engage in such is because of lack of opportunities, lack of employment, and hopelessness, and frustrations, and despair in life. But uh, uh, we are sure and, uh, that the, the new government, both the county and the national government, are going to create opportunities for the youth in agriculture, in agribusiness, uh, in, in, in cottage industries, so that those uh, industries get to absorb our youth, give them opportunities, give them hope for life, so that we have uh, a, a generation for posterity. Mambo ya usalama. Naona tunafaa sasa kutumia binu ingine. Sabi tukitumia ile binu, tulitumia zamani, haita tusaidia. Ya kwanza, askari warudi community zao. Ukiangalia hapa askari wakutoka hapa tutamjua. Na mambo ikiharibika tutampata na tutamfuata. Pia walimu pia warudi ya community assets. Na ya pili, haa wazee wanyumba kumi. Uongeze vijana huko. Na walipwe, liwe tuwe tukipata na fasi ya kuwauliza kwa nini walipo na ufanyi kazi. Na ya tatu, mufikiria kama tunaweza rudiza the cheese act. Some of the powers ya cheese act ilikuwa ya maana sana. Sababu they could arrest and take the police and pia mpatia our sister in chief na machifa askari. Na community muamuke, musingojea sarikari peke yake. Hapa keambutu nasema kapla ufanyue kazi unajifanyia. Mugu lead the community yenu, museme vijana wata uzua pombe kari ama kupombe mbaya. Na mukisema sarikari itakubari. Tunashida ya alcohol abuse. Na mimi kitu ningetaka kuuliza serikali yetu tukufu ni watengeneze vikosi marum. Amoja ya kudiru na alcohol and drug abuse. Ya pili security hasa ya watu wa boda boda. Na ya tatu ya kudiru na mabroka wengine wananyang'anya wakulima wetu. Na pia hata serikali tengeneze kikosi ya kuhakikisha hata wakulima wanapata zile faida mingi tunapata kwa serikali kama free fertilizer. Mimi ningeuliza serikali yetu msikome boto mapiwe ya kutengeneza kule chini ndio mtu akae nchi yake akiwa huru na akae nchi yake akiwa anajua kesho na tegemeo la kesho. So mimi hiyo ndio ningeaje uh, our distillers again eh, waangaliwe sababu ndio wamemaliza nchi yetu na kudistil na kupika mapombe zingine za kuwa watu. Pia serikali muangalie innovative rate zile matunda yetu kutoka miwa mpaka grapes mpaka avocado you can make wine good to drink for our people. Kama Italy wanafanya hivyo, Spain wanafanya hivyo, Mexico wanafanya hivyo, France wanafanya hivyo. Kwa nini tujifanye watu wataendelea kukunya lakini wakitengenezewa kinywaji maalum, kinywaji mwafaka. Watawacha kukunya hiyo sumu ya kuaua. Pia kama hapa Makwa, kwa nini tusifunge hiyo mto kutoka thika kwenda juu? That is the brewery for Changa and bad and illicit Changa. Kwa nini situfunge hiyo mto? na stima na serikali ipange hiyo mipango na pia wa mugudoko na pari pengine mi naomba serikali yetu come and help transform the community make our youth busier and this hustlers fund isiwe kama ile ingine likuwa ya ueso wajamaa wa ungane pamoja na patiwe kazi ya kufanya na hasa mkope the israeli kebut system where young people go in the morning to work and they are paid by the government and the milk is sold to pay them if it is tea, if it is anything. Regenerate and retransform our community through the institutions that exist.